So this is just a 6.2 Denali. Um, it's got an LSA takeoff blower. They've converted, a, the owner's converted it to a LS7, LS3 style math. Um, really budget setup. It's just got a lot of takeoff uh, ZL1 CTSV parts. Um, stock injectors off one of those, obviously a V-lid. Uh, we're using all the V sensors, uh, so the the map and the IAT. The uh, IAT is broken out from the map harness on this, um, so there's you need to do that yourself, or they make a like a plug and play connector. Um, it's using this Roush. It's like a twenty dollar little like intercooler thing off one of their kits online and that's what the uh, heat exchanger and all that stuff's going with uh, and then it's just got a stock V heat exchanger you can't see it very well because the grill but it's all mounted up back there so it's pretty budget setup um, you know $120 LS9 cam and some springs uh, it's got long tubes full exhaust uh, LSX innovations makes the kit to run the blower um, off the stock accessories and all that so if you see it's all one belt now so you do have to figure out your own belt length for their setup but it's on a stock pulley the stock crank pulley on this Yukon is actually a little smaller than the stock pulley on a, on a CTSV or a ZL1 so going off of that um, it does lose a pound or two of boost so up here it's only running about 6 or 7 PSI instead of the, the 7 or 8 it normally runs. Uh, and down at sea level you guys will probably be 4 or 6,000 feet above sea level. So down at sea level it's probably 10 or 11 pounds like it should be pretty close. Alright so let's fire it up. pretty low beyond a cold start but once it's warmed up and you wouldn't know it as a cam or anything it just looks like a regular Yukon just has extra few hundred horse or more if you want if you want to pull it down or whatever but budget setup wise to get it running decent it's not hard Driving this thing around too, you wouldn't really know it as anything done to it. I mean, it drives pretty stock.
this vehicle once you mess with your your VE and your MAF and tune them independently and then still use the blended mode it really gets you pretty uh, pretty close to a stock driving vehicle you would never know it has anything done to it and throttle response is there everything's great so um, yeah, all in all, it's a really, uh, really good build, really clean build. Uh, it's a lot of fun tuning it. Um, I guess now, uh, owner can go out and surprise some people in it.